Hello everybody, it's me again, it's been a while. Uh, I just was making this new build here on the NeverEnder printer, and I realized there's an issue here that I, as a noob, remember that I was like, wait a minute, something's wrong. Basically, I got another stepper motor from a different printer, I just don't remember what it was, where I got it from, what the specs were. I look on the bottom, I don't even know how to... I didn't even know how to start understanding what I'm reading here. But all I remember is that it came off Amazon or AliExpress. I said stepper motor for 3D printer, and I was like, oh, let's buy it. All's good. I came inside. I uh, plugged it into the cable. In this case, it's going to be the x-axis. And then I said, let's go move it. And as you can see, it's moving counterclockwise. I'm like, wait a minute. This motor needs to be moving clockwise like this. Oh, sorry, that was kind of clockwise again. My bad. But you got the idea. The idea that the motor was turning the wrong direction. And I was like, how do I fix this? Search over YouTube. There's a lot of a lot of confusing videos because stepper motors aren't only used for 3D printers, but they're also used for pretty much any other electronics, such as laser engravers, CNC, uh, you know, pocket CNCs, like 3018s. They're used for a lot of different things. So how to fix this issue? Um, in a nutshell... I want to keep this video super short because that's the point of it. As you can see, Creality is super nice. Um, they kept all the cables black, so you don't know, you can't tell which cable is what. But you can tell one thing that the middle cable here is crossed over. So let's turn this over here. The middle cable here, as you can see, is crossed. Right? So if your issue is your motor is turning one direction and you need to invert the direction, there's two ways of doing it. One, you could deal with the Marlin firmware which I bet you have less experience with. And here's the second thing is you could just do as follows. Swap the cables out. That means you're going to take a one of these flathead screwdrivers that we get with all, uh, you know, cheap electronics, right? Or even similar. You're going to lift the pin over here. First thing I'm going to do is turn off the printer when I do this. So I don't get a charge. Okay. So you're going to lift this pin right here like this not all the way so it doesn't snap and pop it out boom you have one of them out nothing hurt nothing done and don't worry this thing will flex right back what you're going to do is you're literally going to take all four of these cables and plug them back in like follows but in reverse order that means this cable to this side this cable to that side and swap the middle just the same but what that'll do to you is that will invert the direction spinning of the stepper motor. And that is the simplest and fastest fix you can do if your motor comes from who knows where and you don't know have the specs on it and you're not really uh, good at the research. Hopefully you follow up on this video and uh, I can help you with that. Okay, it also works for, as I said, laser engravers that have stepper motors and uh, CNC, pocket CNCs that have these type of stepper motors with the four pins they also have ones that are six pins like this as well. Same same idea. You swap them from one side to the next. All right, guys. Keep the knowledge and spread it to other people.